What it do guys, Mondrame here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on the all new Amazon Kindle Fire HD 10 2019 edition. Now first thing we got to do is go to settings, then we're going to have to scroll down to security and privacy. From there, scroll down once again to apps from unknown services, click that, install unknown apps. Click on the Silk browser. Currently, it is not allowed, but if we click here, we can allow it. Go back, go back. So I think we can just go home. Now, of course, we need to be connected to the internet to do all this. Kind of a preamble there. Then go to Silk Home, and we're gonna be typing in stuff. You're going to either want to type it in exactly how you see it in the video description below or just as I do this. And it has to be done in this specific order or else it may not work and your mileage may vary from there. Alright, so let's just go to goo.gl slash uppercase j uppercase x 2r uppercase 9 and uppercase Q. Hit enter. Alright, and it brings up this Google Frame Services thing. Okay, Google Services Framework APK download. Now, you just want to hit the download on that. So it needs access to storage. You're gonna say yes. You're going to allow and it can harm your blah blah blah. You're gonna want to hit yes because any type of like APK would probably trigger this sort of thing. So just go ahead and let it. Let's see if we can do the downloads from here. Yeah, we can. Sweet. And here is the download. Go right to it, and we're gonna hit install. Installing installed. Hit done and hit X here and we're back to the web browser we're gonna go to the next step which is the Google Play services which is G O, -O dot G L I've already shortened these links making it very easy B Q E H uppercase B lowercase E hit enter all right now we see the next thing next piece of the puzzle as it were then you're going to want to download that. You're going to want to keep it. We just open it from here. Is it going to be that easy? All right, sweet. It needs access. Blah, blah, blah. Hit yes, of course. Installing. Yeah, doesn't seem to be taking too long. I will admit I haven't even tried to do this yet on this specific device. I literally just got it today but it looks like it's going pretty well done oh even easier to do it that way okay step three the Google account manager so G O, -O dot G L slash lowercase a uppercase s lowercase w uppercase R uppercase V lowercase e again all the URLs and links are in the description below of this video so please do Check that out first. Another piece of the puzzle, of course. And you're gonna to wanna to download that as per usual. Hit OK. That was pretty quick. And all right. Google Account Manager, it wants us to do a bunch of stuff. Hit next, because hitting next just scrolls it down. Install. One thing I love about the devices here is that it allows you to sideload certain things so we hit done final step the Google Play Store itself G O O dot G L slash lowercase u lowercase h lowercase x uppercase u lowercase a uppercase g hit enter okay scroll down that is the Google Play Store the Thing we really wanted to get because now we'll have access to stuff like Chrome and other well Google services 
So it will harm your device, possibly, whatever. Hit yes. Open Google Play Store. Hit install. Installation really shouldn't take especially long, but your mileage may vary. Now that is, that should be it in terms of installation. And we now see the Google Play Store here. Now it's asking me to sign in. Things seem pretty normal so far. And if you've ever had a Google device, this is uh, pretty far for the course. There's stuff going on up there. Let's see if it actually lets us go through. Oh, good stuff. Let me sign in. I'll be right back. After signing in and using the Google Authenticator app, I am in and it does look like the Google Play Store with a bunch of stuff available. And you can see my previously installed games right here, newly updated games. And let's go ahead and download a game such as Digimon Re-Arise. That's a pretty new game. And it looks like it's downloading just fine. But the game or application you might be wondering which is noticeably absent from the tablet is YouTube. And let's go ahead and download it. YouTube is definitely the application that is missing from this thing, as well as Google Chrome. So let's install both of those right away. I think after you download these two, I think for the most part you're kind of good to go. A lot of other applications, eh, it could be hit or miss, but one thing I'm a little curious about is whether or not we'll be able to use this device to play Stadia. I think that'll be really cool to figure out. Let's see what we have on top. Um, that was from the Silk browser. And you know what? After, after installing uh, the Google Play Store and thus Chrome, you don't actually need to use Silk anymore if you don't want to. Of course, it's up to you at that point, but uh, the funny part is applications that are Amazon specific will now update through the Google Play Store, which I guess just get updated more often. I don't know. I've come across this thing quite a bit with Amazon applications such as Alexa and Amazon Music. I, a little interesting, but uh, also a little weird. Now, personally, I will not be using much of Alexa on this device. Amazon Music, I yeah, could give or take. I do have Spotify. And let's see what we have installed on here. And I think it's already in. Yeah, this would already be here. And then open up Chrome. Help. Uh, I'm going to not do that. Turn on Sync. I'm going to not do that for now. And just open up Chrome, and wow, we that is pretty crazy. This this is great. It looks just like a uh, web browser, you know, and not exactly, but pretty close to it because we're on a 10-inch 1080 screen. It's uh, pretty close to a laptop sort of experience when you have a external keyboard, like I have. So that is actually all we need for that. Let's go to Google.com. Uh, We have a bit of an animation going on in Will Rogers. Well, that's interesting. But uh, let's go here, and what do you know? We have a YouTube application. I might have to sign in. No, I. I okay, cool. I don't have to sign in. That is actually really good news because I just did not feel like it. Now, first off, I'm going to see if I can swap over to dark mode. It's just uh, something I like to do on my devices. Oh yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> Not gonna use restricted mode or anything like that. You know what, this just looks so much cleaner. So much cleaner. I highly recommend anyone to use a dark theme. Just, it's so good. So let's go back. We're gonna go to my account. And uh, let's take a look at a quick thing. To <laughs> the original video that showcased this and what do you know it works and here it is 
pretty cool stuff. And yeah, you have, oops. You have the full Google Play Store experience. Now your mileage may vary for certain applications that require the newest version of Android OS. That, that could actually become an issue, but for stuff like YouTube, you will have access. And to me, that is the biggest thing missing from these tablets is a better web browser, especially one that is connected to everything and the YouTube app itself. Very important for me because I watch a lot of YouTube and some people even have YouTube Red and YouTube TV. So really, really cool stuff. And of course the screen works for the other stuff. So that is really, really neat stuff. Well guys, that is how you install the Google Play Store on the all new Amazon Kindle Fire HD 10 2019 edition. As stated before, all the links will be in the video description below as well as all these steps on how to do this. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out links in the description below, like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now guys, Mandrame out.